Yeah, what's the best pop song ever? The best pop song ever. Chip. Okay, I like this one, yeah. Maker's Mark, bourbon, or mac and cheese. Uh, what's ma- what is that, alcohol? Yeah, it's like, uh, like, bur- uh, like whiskey or something like that. Uh, probably mac and cheese. Yeah. Because I don't actually drink. Oh, you don't? Good man. And uh, and I actually like mac and cheese. Yeah. So uh, if it, it was, it could have very easily been like this whiskey or this food that you definitely wouldn't eat. Yeah. Luckily, it was some food that I would eat. Right. So definitely. You never cheese. drink. No, I have. I oh, like, you just off it. Yeah, yeah. That's I, good. Like I, I know what it's like to 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 be a to be fucked up. Okay. And uh, so, I, but I just I hate the taste. Yeah. And uh, prefer to just uh, not do it. There you go. Yeah, it's fun. Part to you. Yeah. Thanks. But let's talk about mac and cheese a little bit, though. Mm-hmm. Um, I actually only had mac and cheese for the first time, like, last year. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Is it not a thing in the UK? <laughs> no, it's, it is. I just... I, there's a lot of things I only tried for the first time, like, last year or the year before. Like, what else? I was, like, a fussy eater. What's the craziest thing you've ever eaten? Okay. <gasps> Uh, we had a uh, live, you ever seen the movie Old Boy? Nope. Korean movie, yeah, you seen this? Um, it's a scene where he eats a live octopus. Like, it's just, it's like, you know. So when we were in Korea, um, my guitarist Andy before, he, now he's a vegan now. I mean, there you go. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, when he wasn't, he really wanted to do the octopus thing. Um, so we went, and it wasn't like it was. It was a cut up into small uh, segments and stuff, but uh, it was still, you know, it was like a plate of like you know movement or whatever. Wow. Um, and yeah, the guy. I remember the guy, the waiter, being like, "You got to chew it really well because if you take two down, then the suction cups will get both sides of your pipe, and you choke and die." Um, it tasted like it kind of tasted like uh, like I don't know toilet water or something. Like not oh, a lot wow. of flavor. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, crazy though, you know, it's cool. Mm. And you could have died, so... Yeah, dangerous. Pretty exciting. Dangerous and flavorless. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. I don't know, I'm, think, I'm thinking... Mm. That's actually not an easy question. Mm. I don't know, where do I go with this one? I think either, either Michael or maybe Prince. Mm-hmm. When's your birthday? April 30th. May the 4th be with you. That's what's up. And I haven't seen Star Wars. Any of them? Not the whole way through, no. I know what's going on. It's two, two lightsabers and uh, uh, get like gowns, yes. spaceships. Yeah. Other than that, I'm somewhat ignorant to the you entire thing. You haven't seen one of one of the Star Wars the full way through. Not even a single one. Don't think so. I'm, I'm letting everyone know exactly what I am right now. Which is crazy. Yeah, you're yeah, crazy. Yeah. It's getting it's getting to a point now where I mean because I guess I'm what like almost ten years older like eight nine years older than you but yeah, like about. your generation now mm-hmm. my gen everybody's seen Star Wars everybody knows everything about Star mm-hmm. Wars but not anymore no and there's new ones coming out yeah I don't know it's did sad. you see the new one yeah I've seen it. I saw it six times in yeah. the theaters <laughs> is it good at the time I really thought it was great and I watched it a little while ago and. I think it's fine. I think it's fine. <laughs> but here's the thing, though. The new ones, compared to the ones that George Lucas put out, you know, 15, 20 years ago or whatever, yeah. that are not that long ago. Maybe. It could have been that. Um, those ones are absolute garbage, but I still love them. Right, right. So it doesn't matter how bad they are. I'm still going to be pleased as a pig. You know? Of course. But um, you should watch them. Yeah. You know who... Darth Vader is? Yes. And Luke Skywalker? Yes. Do you know about their relationship? Yes, yeah, his dad right there. Okay, there you go. See, that's the real, I mean... I, like, I, it's a bit of a spoiler, like, I already know what's Well, up. yeah, but that's, <clears throat> that's like the, that, that's the dream for me, is meeting someone that doesn't know. Can you imagine getting that twist for the first time with no idea? Well, that you're their dad or they're your dad? 
No, just watching the movie. Oh, right, 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 right. <laughs> I, mean, I, I mean, that would be crazy, too, to be like, oh, what's up? You're super evil and you're my father. But Yeah, 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 yeah. But, uh, but you know, I don't know, just watching it with someone that had no, actually no clue. Oh, yeah, that would be amazing. That would be a treat. You could be like, there's someone that's like, loves Harry Potter and they watched every one and then, or they must have loved it and seen it much, like so many times. And they've just been hypnotized to believe they've never seen it. You, this is a real thing? Yeah, like someone like, I think it was a group of people who loved Harry Potter and they got hypnotized. So that you, they could enjoy it Again, for fresh. the first time. See, I like that. Yeah? Yeah. What yeah. would you do that with? With anything? Um, you know what, I actually said that the first time I finished watching Twin Peaks. Oh yeah? I loved that, you know. It'd be nice to be able to do that again. Star Wars, like I was just saying, I would love to do that. Mm -hmm. I don't know, maybe discovering the Beatles or something. You know, something oh, sweet yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. Sex. Uh, maybe that'd be a little too real. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Michael's the king of pop, so how do you get that crown? Probably from having the best song ever. And what is that song? Um, how many times have you been dropped on your head crowd surfing? Hmm. You know what? Not that much anymore. Because, well, I'll get sucked down to the ground. I don't actually crowd surf that much right now. Really? Been getting away with not doing it. That's good. Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but, I mean, nowadays if I do do it, depending on where we're at in the, on the planet or whatever, mm -hmm. sometimes, I spend, like in the UK, for example, I'll go out and then just get sucked to the floor, and there's like this mangled, you know, human pile of everything that people are like, I can't breathe. And it's yeah. like kind of sketchy to go yeah. do it, you know. But it's not exactly getting dropped on my head because I'm probably like laying on top of like four people that are getting crushed, you know. Um, but back in the day, before it was a thing that I did, mm. I used to smoke the ground all the time. Yeah. Oh yeah, I remember there's one specific, I think we were opening for our friends in Dive at Williamsburg Music Hall. Mm -hmm. And the show was going great, you know. We were supporting them, playing our rock music. <laughs> and I go for the dive. Oh wow. Boom, right on the floor. It's like yeah. School of Rock. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Um, yeah, I haven't been dropped really like that in a long time. But uh, hopefully right. I don't have to keep I'm too big to crowd surf now. Look at me. Yeah, I get, well, I see. The kids keep getting younger and younger, and, and it's you like you just keep getting bigger and bigger. And yeah, it doesn't what doesn't add up. And also, you know, we're playing. The, the younger the audiences get, they've never been to a show before. They don't understand. Like, oh, he's jumping in the crowd. Oh yeah. It's not like they haven't done this before, you know. So, and especially with the phones and stuff. Yeah. They want the selfie. Of but course. to get the selfie, they're going to be crushed by like an overweight 27-year-old Canadian guy. So yeah. is it worth it? I don't know. I don't know. Would it be worth it for you? If I was that young with my phone? Yes. <laughs> yes, I think. I don't know. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> I've, seen, I've seen a show with you before where you, uh, you must have lost your shoe mid. Sometimes they mid go. So. That's crazy, too. Mm -hmm. You know, but does that happen any other? Does that happen more than once? I got into the routine of taking off my hat and taking off my shoes, but sometimes I'll go up. Like we played it, I think it was at Roundhouse. We did two shows there. Yeah, that's that's the one I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, shoe went away, and also my shirt was ripped into like a long ribbon. You know, mm -hmm. I don't have another pair of shoes. <laughs> I got another shirt, thankfully, but yeah, I came back looking like you know. A peasant from like the 16th century or something. Mm. You're like, ha! Oh. Yeah. Um, it's weird. I don't know, but you know, they want they want the uh, they want the legit much. <sighs> mm. Ooh. It would probably have to be Michael Jackson's greatest hit. What scares you? <laughs> What scares me? Um, dying. Yep. I'm also scared of peacocks. Really? Yes. They're actually pretty like, aggressive birds. Yeah, apparently. That's not why I'm scared of them, but that also would be terrifying. Why are you scared of them? I just am. It's not even when they're spread, like just them knowing that they could spread at any point. <laughs> I'm just like, I don't want to know. I don't want to know, and I want to get away from them. 
<laughs> and they're just like birds are just kind of freaky anyway. <laughs> but, yeah, prior to the spread is uh, the worst part actually. I feel you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm now thinking about it scientifically, you know, mm. mathematically. Yeah, don't worry about the numbers. What what is the best pop song to you? For me, I think maybe. Uh, I don't like birthdays. Yeah. You know, I hate them. I hate the, especially when you're playing shows all the time, it's like, it feels like your birthday party every night anyway. Why would you want, you know, it's just this extra day for all your friends to be like, oh. Yeah, it's a little about you. You were born today. Yeah. It's like, I don't want, I don't, I don't know. How do you feel, you feel like it? Or I what? feel like it gets to like 4 p.m. on your birthday and you're just like, still my birthday. I kind of wish it wasn't. Yeah. You're kind of just like, oh, this was really cool when I woke up and then it gets from like 4 onwards, you're just like. Yeah. I figure what I'm trying planning on doing. We were talking about having kids earlier. Me and you. Oh yeah. Well, well I'm down if you uh -huh. want. You know, that's. <laughs> Ooh. Um, but uh, I'm thinking no more traditions. Christmas, forget about it. They'll mm -hmm. never know. Wow. They'll never know. Birthdays, no. <clears throat> then you just don't have to let them down by like. Exactly. Santa. Yeah. They'll never find out that he was a myth. They'll never even find out about him in general. Then I don't have to spend all that money. There's none of this crap tradition. None of. This, I mean. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, straight That's up. That's a good yeah. idea. Yeah. Nothing, no Easter bunny, no, mm -hmm. no turkey on Thanksgiving, no that crap. No, so yeah, I feel you. Yeah. Just cut to the point. Yeah. Tell them how life is. Yeah. Show them a gun. Yeah. So yeah. they know what, what's going to happen. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, there you go, yeah. yeah so. bear, to, bear, to, bear, bear to arms, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, something like that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> or you can go with the Beatles, too. I mean, <laughs> What's the deal with airline food? What's the deal? Here's the thing. It's obviously dog shit. Mm -hmm. You know, what pisses me off is, because we get, we fly a lot, so sometimes we'll get bumped to first class by fluke sometimes, which yeah. is great. You know what, the food up there, and you think it's gonna be amazing. You know? Yeah. It's the same shit, they just give you metal cutlery. Oh. They make it, they dress it up to be this big event. Uh -huh. Oh, I fucking hate it. It's so disgusting. And you know, it, you're already smelling, you, the planes have that jet fuel smell. And then the food, in the, uh, Michelle was telling me that apparently they put special stuff in the food so that it clogs you up on the plane. Because they don't want like, 300 people shitting on a fucking metal tube flying through the... No. Yeah. So I don't, like, I don't like that, that's sneaky. Yeah, that's very sneaky. I don't want anybody, you know. Playing with my playing, yeah, playing with my butt like that. Uh huh. Um, yeah, it's trash. It's trash. Yeah, I don't mind the taste though. I can't lie. I don't think it's that bad. I don't know. As in, like, when you're that hungry and it's like, all right, we got this little green Thai green curry for you in a plastic bag. Well, yeah. I mean, if it depends on what it is. Mm. I don't know. I had. Well, was I think the Virgin maybe has the. Uh, that's what I'm saying. That's okay. That's has they had okay food. It's okay. Yeah. See, we fly Delta and it's just oh, it's, garbage. And yeah. I hope you see this, Richard Anderson or whatever your CEO's name is. Shout out to Delta. It's trash. It's disgusting. <laughs> Ooh. Let's go with. <laughs> 